Okay, so I got another very cool question that was uh, that came our way this morning. Um, so this uh, friend of ours uh, is looking to do an auto allocate test, which if you're unfamiliar with it, I would check it out. It's a really cool utility to have Adobe Target automatically shift traffic to the better performing experience. Uh, it has algorithms to determine when it reaches confidence to make those allocations. Uh, but it's a wonderful, wonderful tool to use, especially for short-term marketing initiatives. So this particular client needed to have the goal, what the models focus on for the optimization to be based off of a calculated metric from Adobe Analytics. Uh, unfortunately, calculated metrics uh, apparently are not supported. I didn't know that until today. Uh, and they didn't have a particular regular metric available. Uh, so what we did here is the, the work around was actually pretty straightforward. The calculated metric was based off of the Adobe Analytics page name. And so what we ended up doing or ended up recommending to them, um, they pass Adobe Target, which as a best practice, as a big tip, you should absolutely do this. Pass your page name you're passing to Adobe Target uh, or passing to Adobe Analytics, pass it to Adobe Target as well. Very easy to do and it's very helpful for lots of different scenarios. This particular environment is a single page application so you couldn't use the URL. Uh, page name was perfect, absolutely perfect to use here. So these, these folks were using page name. Um, and so what we did is to accomplish this, instead of using Adobe Analytics metric, is the primary goal. We switched it to an Adobe target metric. So while A for T is awesome in so many ways, one of the coolest things that it does is it allows you to bring in an Adobe target um, conversion event that shows up as activity conversions. But for this case, we just simply selected, uh, viewed an inbox and then target global inbox, right? Because we got a global inbox that fires on all the different views. And that way we could add in audience targeting and so this audience targeting is going to be made up of a simple rule um, like this I'll actually do this here so let me add in a, a targeting condition so it can create an audience and it would be we would use custom and it would be you can you can narrow this down but we can do page there it is page name contains and they enter in those three values that was going to be the calculated metric in Adobe Analytics. So once they enter that in, let me just cancel out of this, then they can have this be the primary goal for the uh, auto allocation. So Adobe Target will automatically shift new visitors to the better performing experiences that was there. So cool question, cool workaround because of this uh, Adobe Target uh, conversion event that's included with A for T.